Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Annabelle, where I talk about personal style and fashion commentary inspired by real life. I wanted to do my own interpretation of the seven day seven looks by Hailey Bieber. Alison Bornstein, who we've mentioned several times now, did her own version for Kaya Gerber and Kimi Rowe. So I thought I'd put the two together as I love both of them. It's just me reinterpreting Hailey's looks with items that I have. It may not be the exact look, but it's the essence and flavor of the outfit. I am doing it to challenge myself to provide inspiration and encouragement to you guys that there are so many new outfits already existing in your closet. So let's get straight into the seven days seven looks for Hailey Bieber by me. This is Monday. I wish I could be this cosy on a Monday. It's very very comfortable. I must admit I don't think anyone else actually tucks in their jumpers like this but I kind of like that geek chic look. <laughs> And it's really comfy for me. It makes my legs look longer. As a short person, that's important. I think this is a pretty easy outfit to replicate. You could take any tracksuit set that you have. It doesn't have to be grey, it doesn't have to be matching. A more put together outfit and look because of the structured tailored coat. So I don't have a black coat. And this is the only long oversized formal coat I have. And that's totally fine. Full tracksuit by Uniqlo and acne trainers and then a hand-me-down coat uh, on to Tuesday. This is my look for Tuesday. Again, I don't have a red oversized long formal coat so I'm reusing the navy one from Monday's look. I do have a black cashmere top which I could have worn but I actually think it would have just been a bit of a too somber outfit with black black and then navy so I just wanted to wear this grey one which is from Uniqlo. In my opinion Uniqlo does amazing quality cashmere jumpers for a relatively reasonable price. Highly recommend them. And then I'm wearing these commando faux leather leggings which are fantastic, super comfortable and really good quality. I have a pair of latex leggings which are featured in my Hailey Bieber lookbook. I'm doing an alternative with these faux leather ones and then because she was wearing patent trousers with leather boots I like the idea of mixing the texture so I could have worn it with leather boots but I've worn it with these black suede boots instead to kind of do a bit of different textures like she has. These boots are from and other stories that are super super comfortable and they go with everything. I don't have a YSL bag, I don't have any bag so you will see in this video that I'm just alternating between this bag and then another bag or the only bag that will feature in this video. So this is my Chanel small classic flap in lambskin which has its own video which I will link. This is my version of the YSL bag that she wears throughout the videos and it does the job. It's also black, it's got the gold hardware, so it's very, very similar. So this is my Tuesday look. I would definitely wear this, it's very comfortable. It's a pretty similar recreation of hers, except the pop of colour is missing. I'm pretty warm in this as well, which is nice, so it's, it's quite a practical look. This is my hump day outfit. It has the same elements, grey blazer, it has the kind of nude brown top underneath and then these black high-waisted leggings slash trousers. I haven't put this together before but I like the combinations. I also have the pop of white shoes here which are my beloved Amina Muradi white Lupita mules. I don't have a white bag so I'm just going bagless which is fine by me because you know how I feel about that. This blazer is by Everlane. It's the one of two blazers that I have. This one and then the vintage M&S black one. This is just a staple piece for me. This knitted cropped long sleeve cardigan is from And Other Stories. And then these are my trusty dupes for the wardrobe NYC leggings. These are actually from Zara with the split hem in the front. If I wasn't wearing heels with it and I was wearing trainers or flats then I would wear this to work. This is Wednesday. I think it's a really cute hump day outfit. Thank you Hayley for your Wednesday look. Let's go to Thursday date night. Thursday date night. Big deal. Oh, I forgot something. Okay, so my Thursday date night look. All black outfit like her with a pop of colour bag. I don't have a pink purple bag. My only colour bag is this cute yellow, sunshine yellow one from Mista, which I adore. And they do it in a range of different delicious colours. This is a vintage M&S blazer oversized and then my realization par christy dress in black silk which i got off depop and then i'm wearing it with some strappy sandals like she is these are some old sandal strappy type sandals from isabel moron which actually i don't wear that much anymore so it's nice to 
have them out and about now. I really like this outfit. I don't have a strapless dress like she does. These have straps, but I would feel more comfortable in this anyway. That's it. It's my cute date night outfit, uh, all dressed up and ready to go. Something that's also important to note, I am wearing a gold necklace and gold earrings like she does just to make sure that the accessories match as much as possible and this is a very Hayley vibe. These are from the same brand, she wears these gold hoop earrings all the time, these are by Jennifer Burr. I thought those little pops of accessories would make the difference. So this is Friday's look, I am again wearing the navy cashmere oversized formal coat, I'm wearing a black bodysuit from Elix, a belt from I think it's called Rhodes, and then my trusty Levi 501 jeans. This look is pretty similar to hers. I think her coat is black and mine is navy. She's also wearing a bodysuit, but hers is from Walford. Again, I don't have her YSL bag, but I'm wearing a black bag with gold hardware, so it's similar enough. I don't have her row zip-up boots. I'm wearing instead my Ganny slip-ons because it's just easier for me and you still get that chunky boot effect. I could have worn them with my Grants and lace-ups, but I think this is just a bit cooler in terms of like a city look. I would definitely wear this on the weekend. I probably wouldn't wear a belt. I rarely wear this belt. They get in my way and I find them a bit obstructive. I do actually think the outfit looks better with this belt. I just probably wouldn't wear it day to day because the faff is just really, I just can't. So I would probably do without the belt, but otherwise, yeah, this is a really cute outfit. Very comfortable, practical. It's very similar to Tuesday's look. The formula is the same. Oversized coat, black top, black bag with gold hardware, and then she's just switched out the trousers. So she was wearing patent black trousers, now she's wearing jeans. And then the footwear, they both were black boots of some kind. If you can see that the formula is kind of the same, you can see the way that she styles her outfits. Very effortless, practical, comfortable. Saturday. I don't have her exact top. This is actually kind of fluffy, cute textured top from APC. She is wearing a cap. I don't even know if hers navy. She's got a yellow bag, and so this is my yellow bag that I'm wearing with it, which coincidentally actually matches with <laughs> the embroidery of my cap. I think this is actually a very cool outfit. I would never put it together myself. I don't know if it's a bit young for me. I tend to never wear caps unless I'm on holiday or traveling. But this is very cute. I think I would wear this more in spring, summer. I think that the yellow goes well with the brown tone of the top as well. Full marks for Haley on this one. This is Saturday. Okay, so let's bring on the last day of the week and see what we have for Sunday. I forgot to say, this denim is from Zara. Our last look of the week Sunday is this matching set. So she has a beautiful pink set from Mimushka. I don't have anything remotely like that. I have these silky trousers from Whistles. I didn't buy the matching top, shame on me, but I thought I would recreate a similar effect with kind of a tonal outfit. This is a off-white cream wool polo neck from Cos, I think, and then I'm pairing it with these, as I said, cream whistle silk trousers that have, I think, it's a navy piping, which is kind of cool. And I love this outfit. I have never put this together before, but I think it really works. This is the look. You can see that they really are kind of silk pajama bottom-esque because they've got the piping at the bottom. Now that I've got this combo, I had this top in a bunch of different colours. I could wear it in black or in grey or in brown. And because these trousers are quite neutral, it would work. This is a new outfit for sure that I've come up with, thanks to Hayley, and I never would have thought of before. And I think it looks really chic, and that's because of the texture of the silk trousers and the fact that it's tonal as well in terms of uh, the colour palette. I hope I did her justice. It was really fun and this is why I'm really excited to create more content because it's challenging myself and holding myself accountable for all of the stuff I have in my wardrobe. I really want to do what I can to make sure that I'm wearing all of my wonderful pieces as much as possible. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the outfits, what you thought of the challenge. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what your favourite outfit was, any other Vogue videos you would like me to take on. I hope you like this new format. I thought I might kind of mix it up. It makes it much easier for filming for me. So if you enjoyed that layout as well, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!